Okay, today we're going to be showing you how to install multiple drop boxes on the same computer. Um, first off, you're going to have needed to go back and make a portable drop box. Um, that's one of the key things you're going to need to do in order to make this work properly. Um, I have a video on that, the link's below, you can go ahead and check that out, and that's the first step you'll need to do. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to launch a couple windows here. Um, first we're going to open up one, and we're going to slide it over here. And then we're going to go to the portable drive F, and we're going to open that up. That's where I have my Dropbox already configured, that's portable. Alright, now you can see there they are, they're portable. Go, go, go. Alright, now the first thing you want to do is make a new folder. That's what you're going to put your Dropbox into, so you can access it. Uh, I'm just going to put mine into a directory, underneath my directory here, and we'll go here and create a new folder. And I'm going to call this folder myicomputer.tk Dropbox. That's the name of the account that I'm going to be using to sync this with my Dropbox account. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create that folder and then you're going to pull over here, go over to favorites and you're going to create a little shortcut to it so that you can easily access it whenever you want. Now go back and open that folder up. Okay, there you go. Now go back to the removal drive F. Now the only thing you want to remove, you're going to want to copy is this right here, the Dropbox Portable. Alright, you're just going to right click on that and you're going to copy it. And you're going to paste it over here into the folder you just created. Alright, there you go. There, it's located there. Alright, now you want to get the location of this folder. Alright? Um, the Dropbox folder that's inside of here. You want to get the location of that. So you're going to double click on that because you've already set it all up. And there's the Dropbox. That's the one that actually syncs up with the system. So you're going to double click and open that up. Now this is the same process you go through in order to make the Dropbox portable. So you want to go up here to the address bar, go ahead and click on that, and then right click, and you're going to copy that path. Okay, the path is what you're looking for. Now you need to go back to the SQLite database browser. Um, that came with the last download on how to make Dropbox portable and you're going to open that up. Let's go ahead and find that. SQLite database browser, open that up and you're going to execute that file and get it going here. Alright, now you're going to go up here, you're going to open this file folder up and you want to locate the new folder you just created, the myicomputer.tk Dropbox or whatever it is that you named yours. Click on that. Dropbox Portable comes up. So you're going to want to double click on that. And you want to go in here to drop to the configuration file. Double click there. Data. Double click. Look for the app data. Double click. Look for roaming. Double click there. Look for Dropbox. Double click. And you're looking for this configuration file right here. So once you get that up, it brings it up. Now you go on and you hit this data browse. This browse data tab. Go down, you're looking for the Dropbox path. To the right of that is the path of the Dropbox that is currently on there. You're going to modify that. You're going to change it to the, the add to the path that you just copied from the address bar over there. So you're going to highlight, double click on that, highlight that information, right click and paste. There you go. Now it's going to tell the database where it is that it needs to go. Hit apply changes, save, and you can exit out of that program. Alright, now we need to test this and make sure that it's working properly. So you're going to go back on your back button and you're going to go to, you're going to ignore the shortcuts because the shortcuts that you copied here do not work with this newly created folder. So you want to go ahead and delete those. Alright, go ahead and get that out of there. Because those are short. Those shortcuts will take you back to the portable drive F, and that's not what you want to do. So you look for this Dropbox portable executable file, and go ahead and double click on that. That's going to launch your new Dropbox. All right. All right, and if you see, if you go down here to the bottom, 
right, you're going to see there's a new icon for the Dropbox you just created. There's the one that I already had on a computer, and there's the new Dropbox we just made. Okay, go ahead and double click on that, and it should bring up, yep, there's the new window for your Dropbox. And you can see there's the address bar, there's where you named all the folders, and there it's, everything's exactly the same. Let's go ahead and close out of that. We're going to test this Dropbox out. So open up the Dropbox, and we're going to create a folder in here, just to test it out to make sure it works. There you go. Now to make sure that it works properly, just go back down here to the icon once again. That disappeared on me, so i got to find it. There it is. You're going to click on that, and you're going to go up, and you're going to go to the Launch Dropbox website. That's going to bring you to that Dropbox account. And as you can see, there's the folder we just created. Um, now we're going to delete this folder just to show you that it's working properly. So let's select that. Go over here. Hit delete. Just the one deleted. And then we're exit out of the browser. Almost immediately, the changes take place. The test folder is gone. All right. Now if you want, you can hit the back button, exit out of that window, hit the back box button, and you're going to make a couple shortcuts to this if you would like. Um, once again, you can't use the shortcuts that you used for the portable drive because those were specifically linked to that path. Um, so you're going to create two shortcuts, one for the Dropbox itself, and one to the Dropbox portable application ex executable file. Um, go ahead and create those and drag them and drop them wherever it is you want to put them. Um, and you're ready to go. So, um, I hope this has been helpful and that's going to allow you to install multiple drop boxes on the same computer. Um, as long as you change that path, that's the most important step. Everything should work perfectly. So, thanks for watching.